Hello and welcome to the CSR Journal. Today we have Mr. Shashi Shetty, Chairman of All Cargo Logistics with us. Hello, sir. Hello, hi. Uh, sir, we would like to know about uh, the CSR activities that All Cargo Logistics has been into, if you can elaborate. Right. Yeah, we do our uh, CSR activities uh, nationwide uh, using our foundation, which is called Avashya Foundation. And uh, we've been active in uh, the CSR area of work since last about five years and uh, we do multiple projects uh, our primary focus is in Mumbai and around Mumbai and uh, also in uh, state of Karnataka Mangalore that's where I came from um, and uh, we also do a lot of work uh, as in when there is a natural disaster and uh, you know if there is any emergency in any other part of the world uh, and we also do some work in the areas where we have our uh, area of operation like in Chennai, like in uh, uh, Mundra, in Kandla, uh, in Gujarat and uh, a few other parts of the country. So the main uh, things what we do is uh, educational support to underprivileged children and uh, who have a lot of aspiration to grow uh, and do well in studies and we identify visiting school by school uh, we for this year for example we are given education aid for about 3000 children around the country and uh, our effort is not only to give financial assistance also to give them the counseling how to do how should they pursue their education if there's some problem at home or if there is something that uh, one can do to guide their career etc Overall counseling. It's, a, yeah, it's a, like an end-to-end -end, uh, kind of a scheme. Uh, and we also we also do is we work on children who drop out from school for different reasons. We uh, work with few NGOs, and those NGOs go and look for such children and bring them back to school. Uh, so I think this is very good. One other thing that I must tell you is also that we are focusing quite a bit on Swachh Bharat program. So you know we are helping to identify. Uh, build toilets, especially in the schools where there are more girl students, uh, you know, so those are the things what we're doing and uh, I, I'm extremely proud of our Prime Minister for making every Indian feel uh, cleanliness is so important, right? Uh, in, uh, in our mythology, cleanliness is next to godliness. So I think we tend to forget these basic things sometimes in life with our all busy schedules. So I think he's really reminded the whole country that uh, uh, clean India is a pride for India, right? Uh, not so clean India is an insult to India. So I think, uh, you know, people need to be really be mindful of this and work towards that. And uh, in my point of view, we have this year planted about one lakh trees around Mumbai. Uh, so our intention is to do at least a million trees in the next uh, uh, five years. If you don't care, take care of our nature, we will have no world to live with. So we may love our family, we may love our money, we love our wealth, but if tomorrow the world is not existing, what is the use of everything? So we should be very responsible when it comes to environment. How much are you able to, you know, uh, give time to social activities that you are passionate yeah. about? You know, we have about five full-time employees in the company to run the foundation, including my wife. She is leading the whole initiative. And uh, my time, no, I can't spend so much of my time, but I inspire the people in the organization. We inspire, we have about, uh, about 20 or 25 uh, volunteers within the company. And, uh, you know, they also work uh, for the CSR on a need basis. And, uh, you know, my job is to continuously review and give them ideas, give them direction using my network and my contacts to see what's happening around the world, open doors for them and give them ideas and follow up. So that's what I do. Uh, so speaking about the need basis, as you said, how do you go about the needs, need assessment, uh, you know, before you pumping any funds there? Yeah, we look for any project which has got a very high impact. We are not looking for any publicity here. We are purely doing it out of our sincere feelings for the society and the community. And, um, you know, it is, we, we find out. We talk to multiple people. The NGOs we work with, we know how they're very highly credible. And uh, and we our people are experts. The the person who's uh, helping my uh, wife, he is uh, done his PhD in tribal uh, welfare, yeah, and he, in IIT Mumbai. So he's a very competent, young, energetic man. And the other person we have is retired from the army, and he worked for MRPL, and retired there as one of the security head. 
so he is the other person so they are all in their own capacity well networked very hard working very sincere and very passionate people so they figure out things well they figure out and they come and bring the proposal to me i review it talk to few people and then we follow it up uh, according to you what is the importance of uh, individuals uh, you know to achieve the goal uh, socio economic goal that we are targeting at i think you know everybody can do their bit uh, every drop it uh, leads to an ocean right um, you know i think uh, uh, people who who cannot spend big money they can they can spend little money whatever they can afford and people who can't afford at all they can spend their time there is so much of time uh, sometimes people only need good advice or good uh, sympathy or uh, you know sending the people to the right places uh, for help you know there are many things indiv- as an individual one can do so i don't think because you don't have money you can't do csr csr is not only about money csr is also about time uh, time and effort uh, i would like to know uh, as a perspective of yours that uh, how much can technology uh, you know boost the csr to the needs no definitely i think uh, today i don't think there's a real medium to identify Uh, where the money is really required and w- which are the areas where uh, one can really focus is not only for me for the whole industry because industry is the one who can spend money on csr so uh, for them to identify you have to go through your own networks so sometimes it may be you know there may be even better projects better need of the money so i think technology can penetrate into identifying where is the emergency where there is a high impact uh, opportunities and uh, you know and and bring a lot of people a lot of people want to give but they don't know where to give and there is no great visibility of lot of work that is being done so when you inspire other people through using technology using uh, social uh, media uh, you know things can be very different if you can tell me what is csr to you uh, csr is uh, for me uh an obligation what i as an individual have for this world right uh, when i am born here there is a there is a so many support system which got me where i am and i you know some people you can identify some people cannot identify But those who don't identify are to me the society right so i think it is giving back and uh, fulfilling your own obligation like you know even in our mythology says that you should be uh obligated to your parents your teachers your friends and whoever has helped you right so the nature is the other one which has helped us so you can never forget that part thank you so much for joining us sir thank you, thank you.